A White White Day by Ilno Palmason. This is an Icelandic film and it follows a man. Should we just read the, the synopsis because I'm terrible at synopsises? So in a remote Icelandic town, an off-duty police chief begins to suspect a local man to have had an affair with his wife who has recently died in a car accident. Gradually his obsession for finding out the truth accumulates and inevitably begins to endanger himself and his loved ones. A story of grief, revenge and uncontrolled conditional love. That sums it up really. Beautifully shot. This is such a slow movie though so it's not for everyone. There is like a whole sequence that just shows this property where this man lives through the seasons and it just shows like these beautiful like winter landscapes in the spring, summer and it's just very meandering and slow and most of the movie is like that. There comes a point where suddenly it's like boom oh my god what (laughs) when he like finally breaks and goes in pursuit of this man that he believes to have been cheating with his wife it's it's a beautifully beautifully shot movie i do actually want to check out palmerson's newest film i think it's called like godland which is about a danish missionary coming to iceland that looks stunning as well and again there feels like there's trademarks of his style of showing landscapes through the seasons but yeah the way this is shot it's gorgeous very poetic and like very glacially paced definitely so you you have to be in the mood for something like this to watch it on another day i would have not been able to watch this i don't think but on the day that i put it on because it's on bbc iplayer at the moment i think it's literally going to disappear within a few days but yeah so i was just in the right mood at the right time to watch this and then for a few days afterwards i was just thinking about it because like the influence you have on people in your life and like if people truly truly love you and your presence is suddenly cut off like death essentially the fact that his wife died in a car crash he didn't really get much closure it was just suddenly she's there she's not and then to find out that this person that you loved had a whole other side to them that's devastating and it eats him up and slowly you can see it like the main actor in this he's in like pretty much any Icelandic movie you watch phenomenal actor Ingvar Sigurdsson literally such a fucking phenomenal performance this slowly bubbling tension and basically losing the plot because you're just ruminating on something and thinking over and over and over and over and over about this potential other man and yeah it's brilliant then he starts stalking this person ends up going to play football at the same place that he is and it's just like so much tension builds and builds and builds until you get to this firecracker of a moment and then you think oh okay that's that's it over and then it happens like something else happens that kind of brings intensity back again it's so i yeah i was kind of blown away by this and i feel like it's the kind of movie that i will watch again in the future because i know what's happening but i feel like i want to unpack pack it and sort of explore it more because it's a brilliant meditation on greek of familial bonds and and just like it's called a white white day and a lot of the shots in this show like this very all-consuming whiteness of like mist and it literally touches the ground and gives it a whole kind of dreamy and unreal quality and it looks just so gorgeous but also like mystical if you love films that are very atmospheric that slowly unravel the psyche of an individual character because this is very much the portrait of one man on the edge of basically kind of insanity like when you lose someone stages of grief it fucks you up This is a portrait of a man literally on the edge of sanity, being consumed by his own ego and his own self-importance in the life of his wife, but also being wounded by almost a rejection because to cheat on someone is a rejection. It damages his ego, so then he then pursues this man. Oh, fucking crazy. Watch it. 100% watch it.